What is that out there? It kind of looks like a PS1 box case. You know what? Let's go get a fucking look at that. Yeah. Shut the door. Get out of the way, Whopper. All right. Yeah. Let's see what's out here. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's boring. Spyro the Dragon. I've always wanted this in my PS1 collection. Oh. Why was it out in the rain? Look at that Spyro the Dragon. Why did I shut my door? Jesus. Look at that. Oh, wait. Let me turn off the zoom there. Spyro the Dragon for the PlayStation 1. Who needs a PlayStation 4 when you can just play Spyro the Dragon on the PlayStation 1? Man, let's get this bad boy open. Wait a minute. That's not Spyro the Dragon 1. It's a monkey game. Well, hey look. Crash Bandicoot 3. Alright, what's up gamers? Today we're going to be taking a look at Ape Escape because today I was fooled into thinking I was getting goddamn Spyro the Dragon 1 for the PlayStation 1. I'll have you know that I've played this game for many years ever since I was a wee lad so my opinion on this game is goddamn fact and you're going to accept that whether you like it or not. Now in this game, Ape Escape, what you do is catch apes that escape from the circus. <laughs> you get it? That's why it's called Ape Escape. Now in this game, we have four different type of monkeys. We have the yellow pants monkeys, and 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 the black pants monkeys, and the red pants monkeys, and the green pants monkeys. Now you might be wondering, hey man, why aren't you talking about the story? Isn't there a story in this game? Well, there is a story in this game, but it's really stupid and simple. Basically, a smart ass monkey gets to take over the entire world by going back in the past, except you gotta stop him because he's stupid actually. And how else do you stop a stupid ass monkey? By capturing all the little dumb ass monkeys that he put all around the entire world back in the past. Come on, it's simple logic. Now that we got that boring shit out of the way, let's go back to talking about what you actually get to do in this game, which is capturing monkeys. So you start out in this game with a fucking lightsaber and a net, and the basic gist is you hit monkeys with a lightsaber which for some reason doesn't kill them, I guess they're fucking invincible or something, and then you catch them with a the net afterwards. As you progress further in the game, you get all these other cool little knickknacks to use, like a goddamn super hoop and a skyflyer thingy majig. And you know what? They're cool and all, but in all honesty, you're probably just gonna be smacking them with that lightsaber and catching them with your fucking net. And the coolest part about this entire game is that it uses both analog sticks from the DualShock controller from the original PlayStation. This is actually the first game that ever used this feature. Trust me, it says it on the box and at the beginning of the game and everything. So it's definitely true. This game wouldn't lie to me. Now the most interesting part about this monkey capturing adventure is the different pants monkeys that I mentioned earlier. They all do something different and it's pretty damn cool. Now the yellow pants monkeys are just generic monkeys that stand around and don't really do much. They all got kind of these random stats and whatever, but no one gives a shit about that kind of stuff. And then the other yellow pants monkeys, this one runs a bit faster, and this one goes a bit slower, and this one, I don't even know, I just think he's just another yellow pants monkey that's trying to pretend he's something cool, but in reality, he's just another yellow pants monkey. Now the green pants monkeys, they got these motion detecting goggles and it's like, it's really cool. You know, I actually, I kind of wish I had those kind of goggles, except, you know, I wish I could actually see because if you're not moving, they're fucking blind. Like, they don't even know what the hell's going on. But they got missiles on their back too and it's like, they're so goddamn hard to catch and there's this one right here, it's like, he's like in the middle of a fan or whatever and it's like, you gotta wait for him and you gotta slowly go up to him, but you gotta pretend you're like a rock or whatever and you gotta lay on the ground and be on your stomach. It's, it's very weird, I don't know, but goddamn it, these monkeys are so goddamn hard to catch. And then we got the black pants monkeys that have these machine guns, and they're like, hop, 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 hop. and what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go up to catch them really fast because if you don't go up to catch them really fast, seriously, they're just gonna fucking shoot you. They got aimbots, not even fair. I mean, when I'm playing somebody in like Call of Duty, do you think it's fair if they've got fucking aimbot? No, no, no. That is not cool. That is not fair. 
And then we got the red pants monkeys, and they've got like like the missiles on their back, and they got like machine guns too, and they're like they're like angry and they're like all the monkeys together, and they're they're like the hardest ones to catch, but honestly, they're just like every other monkey, just run up and catch them really fast. You just jump up, you know, hit them with your neck, pa, and then you gotta catch them with your net like Shwah! And then once you do that, you know, it's pretty easy at that point. You know, not as hard as Dream Monkeys, if you ask me, because they can't see me from, like, seven miles away when I'm just like, what the fuck, you're in space, I'm over here on the goddamn Central America just trying to mind my own business. And that's basically the entire adventure, you know, you just go around capturing monkeys and stuff. I mean, occasionally you got your, like, rival friend who was brainwashed or whatever by the main antagonist. But, you know, those races, there's only two of them. They're, they're stupid and boring. All you do is use your gadget to run. But that's not even the entire point of the game. It's called Ape Escape. Not run against your friend and try to beat him in races and unbrainwash him or whatever stupid junk he's getting into. And then fight two bosses or whatever. And they're boring as hell, too. And I'm just like, let me go back to catching apes. It's the entire point of this game. Why would you call a game Ape Escape if sometimes you don't capture the escaping aping? You know, technically, I don't even have to get all the apes in the game, but it's so much fun just flailing my thumbs around on the control stick and going crazy. It's just like, you know, the, the clickety-clackety sound, you know, what I'm talking about, you know, the, the like, the this sound, you know, it's so much goddamn fun. You get to just run around and do that for, like, six solid hours. It's so much fun. God, I want to play it right now. I'm just talking about it. And the last thing that wraps this entire game up into an entire complete package is the amazing soundtrack by Soichi Tarada, I believe that's how you say his name. I don't know, I don't speak Japanese, but god damn, he made an amazing soundtrack. There's like drum and bass, and that's basically it. It's all atmospheric tune, it's, it's just so goddamn cool going through like all these different time periods listening to this kick-ass drum and bass soundtrack. If you don't even play the game ever, just listen to the soundtrack, it's absolutely amazing. But I don't recommend listening to the On The Loose version, the version sucks compared to the original which is what I'm playing right now so yeah that's the entire game if you wanted my professional gamer opinion on what a score would be for this game it would be a solid 9 out of 10 it's got almost everything going for it it'd be a 10 out of 10 they didn't have some stupid stuff like dumb races and stupid bosses that ruin the ape capturing which you're supposed to be doing that's why it's called ape escape for crying out loud but it's a goddamn solid game I would even eat a banana while playing it that's how fucking cool it is and how fun it is to catch monkeys and that's gonna be it for this video please leave a like if you like this video comment in the comment section let's have a discussion about how fucking amazing and awesome catching apes are and ape escape and subscribe if you want to see more content like this because I have more of this shit coming down the road for you because I love you guys alright peace professional gamer out